We're going to be making a ragu today with Adam. Adam, usually when we do a ragu for our pasta, it takes, you know, a few hours, but not today? No, not today, Just. This one here is a 20-minute ragu sauce. Quick, full of flavour. Mm -hmm. With a little bit of zing and power Ooh, chili. Oh, I like the sound of that. A little bit of chili. Great. So, I'm going to start with. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Got a little bit of frying off to do. Mm -hmm. So, get that pan on and I'll That's give hot. you some olive oil one sec. Thank you. So, how much olive oil would you like for this? Good splash. So, we're probably about three tablespoons. Okay. Don't be shy. We're going to be adding pancetta as well. Mm -hmm. So, the fat obviously coming out of the pancetta will give us a bit more mm -hmm. oil and flavour. Yep. In with the onion, just please. Okay. And I'm going to do something a little bit different, you know, always add the herbs last. Yes. This is something my nonna used to do with her ragu, you know, so I've just taken little tips here. I'm going to chop up the basil and be cooking it off from the start. Okay, very unusual. Sometimes you say not to do this, but I if know. nonna does it, I must know. be right. <laughs> so all those little memories I get as a kid, yeah. you know, remembering, oh, you know, she used to do this. Yep. And chopping up basil too, you're probably cringing about now, but don't worry, it's okay. I trust you. In it goes. No garlic again. No need for this garlic. The flavour's coming obviously from our pancetta. We're using okay. some veal mints also. Mm -hmm. So I'm just removing that little skin there. I tried to find you the biggest piece of pancetta I could find. I love pancetta. You <laughs> me know too, what? Me People too. think I'm crazy. I slice it and just eat it like <laughs> that. And... Different pancettas have different seasonings to it. Yeah. Um, different spices. Some you can get with chilli. Mm -hmm. um, and you can taste it once it hits that oil. Mm. All the different flavours come out. Love it. Okay. I'm going to. Place this in for you. Beautiful. And that goes. So we need to cook that for about three to five minutes. So basically releasing all the fat, like I said, mm -hmm. making sure the onion's cooked out well, and then we'll go on to our next couple steps. Fabulous. Next step, just add the meat and let it brown. Okay. Now add the wine and reduce it by half. Okay, so that's reduced. Mm -hmm. Next step, chilli. Okay, how much chilli are we putting? Okay, this is personal preference. I like a little bit of heat, so don't be scared. Good tablespoon of chilli flakes. Tablespoon? Yeah, give it some heat, Just. All right, I better go the other side. <laughs> <laughs> tablespoon in it goes. Good. There we go. Lovely. Beautiful. Now some lemon zest. Okay, now lemon zest, interesting. With the ragu, yeah. yeah. So basically my mum's from Naples, so Sorrento's close by, which is well known for limoncello and all the beautiful lemons. That's right. And I yeah. found when I was over there, they add a little bit of lemon zest just to help counteract the heat from the chilli. How much? About Stop. half? Perfect, it's done. Okay. In with the passata. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, look at that. We've got to let that cook for about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, very easy. So the pasta looks cooked there, just Take Straight the from the pot into the pan, okay? okay. And look at that beautiful rigatoni, nice big. I love rigatoni because it's got those big holes. A lot of the sauce will go in there. Very good. And traditionally, mm. meat sauces, so you still got your, obviously, ragus, use rigatoni, uh -huh. penne, and sometimes casareche. Ah, there you go. So yeah. not usually with spaghetti with something like this. No, not always, no. Mm. Exactly right. We've got a big serving bowl here. So this okay. is one you take to the table, you know, family sitting around. I'll pass that to you. Oh, you want me to get all nice and messy, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> all right, no problems. I'll flick that a couple that. times. Oh, yum. All what right. a rich sauce. You can just tell as soon as it touches that pasta, deep, rich colour. And I can smell the hint of lemon zest in there. I can too. It's delicious. Mm. All right. So let's get this into there. Look at that. Sauce yum. just coating the pasta. As it should. When I'm doing my um, ragus, I actually use quite a lot of penne pasta, but rigatoni, fabulous idea. Rigatoni, and it needs good smothering of pecorino. Now, when I mean smothering... Keep going, keep, keep going. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> this is the salt element. You know, we haven't added any mm. salt actually to the sauce, to the yeah. sugar, so this is it. You know I love parmesan, oh. pecorino, any cheese, so <laughs> I'm happy That's with it. That's my favourite. Just why don't you dig in mm -hmm. and tell me what you think. Okay. Going for the one with lots of pecorino. Oh, I'm going down as here. Mmm. Mm. 20 minutes, yeah. Ragu sauce. It is divine. Lemon. 
pecorino, of course, for the saltiness. And I just love it because it's been cooking for 20 minutes, it's bubbling away, so that sauce is super rich and rigatoni. Yes, 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 and yes. <laughs>